on that hard black top and being so good today. I appreciate it. I'd like to welcome all students, staff, and guests to the groundbreaking, ground, groundbreaking ceremony for the Gracerville Elementary Edition Project. For some of you, this may be your first experience at a groundbreaking ceremony. I would like to tell you a little bit about what we're going to do this afternoon and why we are here today. In 1995, which was a long, long time ago and way before you were born, this building right here that we call Graysonville Elementary School was built and the students entered the building as a brand new building for the very first time. Before the school was built, the students went to the school next door, which we call the Head Start Building. When the architects and designers planned for this school, they decided to have a rainbow theme throughout the school. In each cluster, if you look up, you will see the rainbow. And you can also see it in the cafeteria, media center, and throughout the school. Every grade level, had a different cluster color from the rainbow. But there was one color that was not represented in a cluster, and this was the color purple. So for 22 years, there's never been a purple cluster. When this school opened 22 years ago, there were about 300 students. Today, we have 500 students. We have so many students here in Graysonville that we have five portable classrooms because everyone can't fit in the building. Some very wise people decided that they needed, that we needed to add more classrooms to our building. A project like this costs a lot of money and both the state of Maryland and Queen Anne's County are helping to pay for the cost of this new addition. Our new addition will have six classrooms and we will have finally the purple cluster so that now we will have all the colors of the rainbow in our school. So today, you're at the groundbreaking ceremony. In a few minutes, we will invite some of our guests and some of our students to take shovels and begin to get the area ready where this new addition will be placed. I thought it was very, very important that each of you be here this afternoon because there will be a lot of changes here at Graysonville next year due to the construction. The construction will last for about a year and then it will be open the following year. So to start things off this afternoon, I would like everyone to stand, remove your hat, put your hand over your heart if you choose. We will have the presentation of colors by two members of our Cub Scout Pack, 496, Keegan Mize and Noah Morris. Color Guard, Forward Marsh. Cross your colors. Color guard, post the flag of the great state of Maryland. Color guard, post the flag of the United States of America. Color guard, honor your colors. Our Pledge of Allegiance will now be led by a student representative from each grade level. If these students could come forward, stand in front of the podium, Lauren Russell. Elijah Lamp, Ellie Minton, Joshua Ford, Hannah Reedy, Maylee Heffer, and Tuxter Claxton. Please remain 
standing and we will have the singing of the national anthem by our Graysonville Chorus, led by our music director, Mrs. Jamie Dean. to introduce Mr. Greg Paluski, the interim superintendent of Queen Anne's County Public Schools. He will introduce our guests and make some remarks. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Good afternoon, and most importantly, good afternoon to the students of Graysonville Elementary School, which is why we're here today. Uh, before I give a couple remarks, I would like to recognize some very special guests that are with us today to help us celebrate this absolute groundbreaking moment for the new and next vision for Graysonville Elementary School. Uh, first is joining us from our Board of Education, uh, which is Captain Beverly Kelly, as well as Ms. Sharon Harlow, they represent, and it is a great partnership, so we appreciate them being here. Please give them a round of applause. I'd like to recognize our delegate, Mr. Steve Ahrens, who is with us today and will also be giving remarks. Please give him a round of applause. The two local county commissioners and our great partnership with them, uh, Mr. Jim Moran and Mr. Jack Wilson, please give them a round of applause for being here. I'd also like to recognize uh, our contractors from Whitting Turner, uh, Mr. Rich Newberry and Mr. Dave Myers. Please give them a round of applause as well. <laughs> this project wouldn't be what it's going to be if we didn't have a great arch architectural firm to work with. And please give a round of applause to Ms. Sandy Carpenter, our architectural firm at Becker Morgan Group. And finally, I'd like to recognize uh, members of our own staff, Mr. Sid Pinder, uh, Ms. Carla Pullen, uh, and Ms. Janet Pauls that represent our central office team that are here today. Please give them a round of applause. <laughs> Very briefly, as uh, Ms. Camp had mentioned, the reason that this project is even happening is because of the growth that we're experiencing here at Graysonville Elementary School. And part of that is with what's gonna happen here is a six classroom addition, which is gonna be outstanding, as well as an addition to the kitchen, and then a new playground territory uh, that we're on now, which will actually be relocated. I mean, that's really the essence of the project. And this project would not be possible without great partnerships. And that first partnership starts at the state level, uh, not only with our legislators in the Maryland State Department of Education, that will be contributing over $1.3 million in order to make this project happen. But more important to that is our great partnership uh, with our local county commissioners that have uh, contributed over $3.1 million into this project and are committed to this, and I commend them uh, as well. And you see it's not only at the state, but at the local level, but it's also the parents, the community of Graysonville, and the Queen Anne's County Public Schools all coming together to make a difference in the lives of the students. And so with that, 
uh, I would like to turn it over uh, to Delegate Ahrens, who would like to give a few brief remarks. Thanks, Greg. I appreciate it. Um, my name is uh, Delegate Steve Ahrens. I'm here representing the state of Maryland, obviously. Uh, Senator Hershey, Delegate Jay Jacobs, and uh, Delegate Jeff Grice, along with the Governor Hogan. But I was asked to come today to read a little bit of a letter addressed to Dr. Poluski. It says, from the uh, Maryland State Treasurer's Office, I received the invitation to attend today's groundbreaking ceremony for Graysonville Elementary School's edition and was disappointed to find out that I would not be able to attend. I know that you and the Graysonville community have worked tirelessly to secure funding and make this much needed project a reality. And I wanted to take the opportunity to send my warmest congratulations to you and everyone involved in this effort. Queen Anne's County is growing, a vibrant part of our beautiful state, and as we know, growth necessities increased infrastructure. Our children, our future, it is, it is truly gratifying to know that Maryland's youngest citizens will have facilities necessary to ensure a quality education. With all the best wishes, I remain Nancy Cobb, Treasurer. P.S. I would love a rain check, perhaps a visit after the edition is done. Um, she truly does uh, care about our county. We made her an integral part of us back when I was a county commissioner, and she's done some remarkable things for us and always is in our corner. But congratulations to you all, and I appreciate the time, Greg. At this time, we would ask that our invited guests please make their way over to the shovels. If you would stand behind, we're going to have some students join you so we can do our official groundbreaking for the Graysonville Elementary School edition. All right, our student representatives, if you'll make your way over to the shovels as well, and please put on a hard hat and get ready for the groundbreaking. That was the Graysonville Elementary School Band playing Ode to Joy. Thank you, Mrs. Dean. Now I'd like to introduce you to our next speaker, and um, it is Mr. Sid Hinder. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, distinguished guests, hang on, I'll give you just a second. Parents, and most importantly, the students. I would like to praise everyone that works and attends Graysonville Elementary School on how well the building is kept. Just a few months ago, the custodians, maintenance technicians, and Ms. Camp were awarded the Silver Hammer Award for how well the building is maintained based upon the Maryland Public School Construction Inspection. This is no easy task to achieve. There are very few schools in the state that receive this award. But your school did an excellent job and we actually had the comptroller here to visit and present the award to your staff. 
Very good job. Keep up the good work with that. We've also continued to make many improvements here at Graysonville Elementary School. A lot of them you probably don't even know have occurred or cannot even see them. But we've replaced certain sections of the roof at this school. We've installed security cameras inside and outside of the building. And we've also installed uh, LED exterior lighting. But most importantly, we put a new energy efficient chiller in about two years ago at this school. And some of you are probably wondering what the chiller does. The chiller provides cold water for the air conditioning. So the students are happy and then in return, the teachers are happy. So we were glad to install the chiller several years ago. One thing I wanna do is I wanna reassure the parents, students and the faculty members that our first priority during the construction will be the safety and security of the students. That is the most important item that we can bring to the table. Secondly, our priority, the second priority will be that I want to assure you that when we deliver the class, six classroom edition, we are going to minimize the amount of impact that we have on the instruction. We're trying to minimize the amount of noise. We're trying to minimize the amount of movement. So at the end, we will have a beautiful edition. I was actually fortunate to start my career in education at this school when it first opened up. And it was an excitement to move from the old Graysonville Elementary School over to this school. And I hope that excitement continues forward. I just want to thank Ms. Carol Camp, the County Commissioners, Delegate Arents, our board members, and especially Ms. Carla Pullen for uh, making this a successful project. It has no, been no easy task. And I want to assure you again, we will have a beautiful uh, facility when we are finished. I would now like to introduce the Satterfield Award winner, Alexa Galbraith. Gabriel, sorry. She is going to lead us in the Graysonville Elementary School cheer. Alexa, Alexa is actually the PBIS Student of the Month, Student of the Year for last year, and one of her jobs is she leads the school in the cheer at any kind of event that we have. So, boys and girls, you know you have to stand up to say the cheer. ribbon cutting ceremony when the new edition opens. Thank you all very much.